So, today we're going to work with uh, a glaze coat right here. It's a two part epoxy, it's a little self leveling uh, for bar coats. It's the same stuff as like mirror coat that you see. Uh, this is what I picked up at Lowe's. I'm going to give it a try. I've been using it really. This is the last bit of it. I thought I'd do a little video real quick to show you how I do it and how it works. I don't find any difference between this and the other brand mirror coat. Uh, this in here, it don't uh, mix quite as good, so it takes a little bit longer, it seems like. And if you go real fast, it makes bubbles. <laughs> They'll start floating up. But it's just as strong as just durable that I have found. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's any difference in price either. When you do this, you got to do equal parts. I had another measuring cup when I mixed this, and I put two of the exact parts in here. And now when you mix, you, you're stirring for about three minutes, stir it into another cup, stir for another three minutes. I'm just about ready to do this one. And what I've got here is a little design, and I put a little tape around it. I'm going to do a little build up. Normally I'd have had a wooden frame, but this is just a little scrap piece. We'll see how it works, but make sure. You scrape the size of your cup in the bottom, make sure everything gets real mixed, mixed up real good. If you look inside, you can see it's getting kind of creamy looking or, or hazy looking. Uh, it's really, you, you'd think it wouldn't do it, but it really comes up pretty good. Uh, I stirred it with a little wooden stick I picked up and it's got dirt in it now, so overlook that when we pour it down. But the trick I learned from using this, we'll go ahead and pour some of this in, is see how it's coming out kind of creamy looking? Whoops. Okay. We'll do that. What I usually do is I'll take a little piece and I'll cut little teeth in it. And usually that's about the depth I want. And this will allow you to get it to the edge. And you'll notice it kind of makes an even uh, coat through it. Now when you get to the edges you got to push this stuff up to the edges. It almost keeps away from the edges on its own. So if you notice how I do that, I probably put a little too much in here so that'll look pretty good though when we're done. There we go. Now, you just want to make sure you get all your edges good, work around the edges a little bit. Now, this is an epoxy, so whatever you let it set on is pretty much where it's going to stay. Uh, I had had a coat rack I was working on, and somehow I had a little bitty gap on the side, and it leaked through. Went all the way to the cardboard that I had it sitting on, and bonded it to the cardboard. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't get it off. Okay, I just kind of spud that down a little bit, make sure everything's kind of even. The purpose of the teeth is kind of give it an even flow, it pulls the excess up. Of course, I do have a little much in this, but that'll work pretty good, just the same. And then I got a little piece of tile right here. I'm going to pour on here. And the purpose of pouring it on this tile over here is it's untreated. It's just a slick piece of granite tile. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how well that stuff will bond to the tile. But anyway, after you get this, if you'll see how fuzzy and bubbly it is, now if you take your heat gun on a low setting, as you start taking that heat gun across through this, then bubbles will just start disappearing and that hazy look will just start disappearing. Now if you'll watch, let's go up there starting this way. I don't know if you can see it disappearing. You gotta be real careful when you mix it because it tends to want to put a lot of air into it. And another thing you want to do too is when you're doing a lot of different woods, like this one here has got a lot of different woods, little designs in it, uh, air bubbles 
believe it or not, uh, you'd be surprised at how much air is actually in that, especially on your porous grain wood like oak and stuff. It'll start sending little air bubbles up in here. So when you uh, put this down, you may think after the first five minutes that, hey, this is perfect and this is, you know, good enough and I can just walk away. And if you'll see it now, it's starting to come out real good. Got a little more air right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but just kind of... The more I do, the clearer it becomes. We're getting more of the air actually brought out. The heat brings that bubbles right up and just start, they just start popping. Now this stuff takes a real long time to set. So what you do today, you better have it in a place that you're not gonna move it because it's just gonna be until tomorrow until you can handle this. Also, uh, I had a dirty cup right there that's been sitting in the shop. And I got particles floating in it a little bit. It looks pretty neat, but... Now, as you look at that, right now we're going to go down here and look at this pile. I don't know if that... You just... Okay, sorry about that. Batteries ran down. But here, we well, saw how creamy it was when we was doing it. Now, that's it on that granite tile. You can see a reflection in the mirror, or the glass. And this is the piece that we just done. Now that we're up closer on it, you can kind of look around, see what it looks like. You notice I put tape underneath just in case it leaks through. Now, something about this stuff I want you to think when you're doing this is that this stuff is real, real thin. And will run through about the smallest crack you can find. Uh, and make sure everything you do is sealed before you start putting this on there and this part right here Okay, whatever you're doing you, you need to have it level Okay, because it's going to run to the lowest spot and build up and that's what it's for. It's a leveling coat it Works great uh, Done a lot of coat racks and stuff with it tried this out. Uh, I like it just as well as the mirror coat I don't have any problems with it uh, Lowe's carries it. I don't know if Home Depot does but it was around 40 some dollars, 50 bucks uh, for 16 ounce. Uh, of course, you get two 16 ounce containers, so you see the hardener and the resin. But that's uh, that's basically what it is. Also, as I'm looking at it, I know you can't see it. Let's see if we can get down here. You see that little air bubble right there? Yeah, it showed, didn't it? Okay, that's what I was telling you, just, you know, after about five minutes, you think you got it. And that's the air bubbles that come back up. So you got to keep on this for, now, the air bubble just disappear. Okay. you got to keep coming back on this and keep applying that heat gun to it to get rid of the bubbles that have came up. Now we'll, uh, we're getting her here. Sorry about being shaky, but. Probably takes about 35, 45 minutes of watching it as the bubbles start popping up. And then they'll slowly come up. You just go back over it again until it finally sets. And once it sets, then you're okay. But back for the first 45 minutes, you're going, you really need to watch this for any air bubbles. If you've got any type of pattern like this, or if you're doing any kind of uh, uh, forest wood. Now let's see what we got. See, the air bubble's gone. So, I don't see any more here. Looking through this. Is... Okay, you can even see the reflection of the camera in there. See it right there? <laughs> But that's uh that's what I do. That's how I use it. If you're doing without an edge, you what you'd need to do is have a brush, and you would brush the edges as it starts running. You will not be able to put it very thick because it will start coming over that edge. But you'll need to keep that up and then tape the bottom, and because you will get a little runoff on that. And then later on, keep an eye. 
and I'll show you how well this uh, tile did. I don't. I just don't think it's going to bond to it. That's that's super slick granite. I mean, it's super slick. But we'll find out. I'm just interested because I'm wanting to coat some granite countertops. I'm just wanting to know how this will work. Anyway, uh, if you've tried this, if you've done it, make a video of it, send it to me. I'll post it. Uh, see how it turns out. Okay, take care.